Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will create a data table component, a data table in React.js. So create, so create uh, a data table in React, we will use um, a package by the name of uh, React data table component token. We will use this package and uh, first we will install this package in pm install react data table component after installing uh, we will install the um, styled components also okay let's come to our code here so i have installed them uh, first we will come to the react data table this is the react data table component i have installed already and also styled component we should install that also C style component after installing these two packages so now we will start creating a data table uh, to sort that to pagination with that and also apply filter on that too and also to, to select them the rows so these are functionalities we will perform using this uh, package so what we should do first of all um, I will import that import data table from react data table component after importing this so now we need the data that we would like to show in this uh, data table okay so first i will write the columns const columns is equal to for the column the first thing is the name it means that the heading okay the heading the first we will assign for example um, title and the second one would be uh, this would be name okay and the second column would be name would be email and also the third column would be name age after writing this so now we should uh, use selector okay the selector means that uh, that will give us a row a complete row okay we will use this selector selector and uh, we will it give us um, uh, a complete row we will write a row function a row dot name okay that the name that we would like to pitch okay we will uh, later we will write this name in the data in our data same to this we will write for all these three email and age so now let's define our data so for the data the first thing to define that is name before name just write id id will be one with us and then the name with us name will be yourself and the second one is the email that we have we have email the third one is the age okay 23 and same to this i will write more data i will just pass and write a few records more so, so I, uh, I wrote five records okay these five records of data with us so now let's collapse this and also let's collapse this column so first i will display this data to display this data uh, we will use data table component that we has imported before and we will assign now the columns the columns will be the columns that we wrote. So what is it? Columns and the data would be the data that we wrote. Okay. After writing it, so let's run the server. The server is running already, so let's come to the Chrome and see our app. See it is our application which is running. So this five record we wrote, okay. This data we have now. So now the first thing is let's add a sortable to make this sortable okay to say make this sortable so just come to the column area and here are just sortable true so if you would like to sort 
apply this on email also so you can apply it on email also it also on age and which one you want so you can apply and that one just write this sortable true so now let's check it now see it we have this let's sort it see and also on email we can sort the in also on age see it we have sorted the records so it was applying the sort so now let's um, apply that selectable okay these should be selectable the rows to apply that just let's write here we will just write here selectable rows uh, selectable rows this one okay after writing this let's check it see these are selectable now we can select the rows so it was another property so another property is to make this for example we have more with let's copy a few records more yeah let's copy these records uh, sorry these are columns let's to the data now let's check it see we have these records so now we don't know what is this for example we have more data here are 10 or 12 uh, columns so we don't know what is it or what is it this so for that to make this uh, header fix so we will write something like this okay fixed header after writing this now let's check it see the header is fixed with us now see that the header is fixed now with us and let's add the pagination okay to add the pagination we will just write pagination after writing this we will see now the pagination see these are the pagination okay see it let's go to the next page and back so it was all about the pagination to add the pagination to the table so now the last functionality that we should perform that is the filter okay to filter these data to filter we will use first of all we will create uh, a search box okay i will create a search input field there input type is equal to text and let's uh, class name text and let's check it how it looks like it looks like this okay beautiful so now let's just you can add here a button also to remove restore the text field so i will just perform the uh, filtering option so now when you are we are changing the data of this okay on change uh, we will call a function handle filter now we will create this uh, handle uh, handle uh, filter function okay to create that let's collapse the data and also the column Uh, before uh, calling the function so i will create a state okay a variable to assign the data to that i will create that const records set records using use state hook okay using use state hook and i will assign the data to this variable okay this data has assigned to this uh, state uh, records okay now i will use the records here instead of data i will use the records okay it is the same uh, what happened handle filter okay this function is defined let's create the function function handle filter it will has the name it let's check it everything is okay so now let's perform the filter so perform the filter on this what we should do whenever we get a value okay Cons, uh, we can just directly um, use the um, const new data okay new data with us is equal to uh, we will use filter on this uh, records okay records dot filter we will use filter function of the javascript so now we will have an item for our arrow here after that we will perform operation on this return so now we will return the records that uh, row dot name we will perform filtration and name row dot name dot includes 
first I will change that to the lower case to lower case after that that includes after that in in the includes what I should write I should write the data that I am entering in this input field event dot target dot value dot to lower case now I will set the records set records to this new records new data so everything is okay so let's try it okay I will just write the name of for example Khali just Khali came to the top oh if I write uh, sorry it didn't filter so let's check it what happened so the problem is that we have to filter the, the data okay the data that we has not the records because the records is updating so we should filter the data so now let's check it uh, refresh the page we don't need the refresh but just uh, read it's yourself salim we don't have any record Khali. see we have applied the filter profession and this also so it was all about so you can design it that's in your hand to design it and make a style to this uh, but these were the functionalities in react data table using react data table component package so as i have helped you so if you have liked this video please subscribe our youtube channel and also like this video thanks for watching